And our next guest has won Tony Awards for his direction of the revival of A Raisin in the Sun, a soldier's play. But will his new stage play about LeBron James and his influence be his next Broadway hit? Kenny Leon is here with us launching King James at the Steppenwolf Theater. It is an honor to have you with us. Yep. Genuine theater royalty here with it us. It is my though. honor to be here. And Paul was just talking about 25 degrees. Right. I mean, what am I doing in Chicago? Right. I'm only here because I love this play and it's, uh, I, I love the people of Chicago. So it has a great theater community and uh, I'm here in February and March. Because I love, I love Chicago. Yeah, you know, you know, we also open plays here in the spring and summertime, right? So. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I only had this window of opportunity in my schedule. Yeah. This is the window, and uh, the folks at Steppenwolf made it possible. And we're going to take this play from here to L.A. and we'll see. Oh, so you're going to go to L.A. first? We go but, to L.A. But next. obviously, uh, New York and Broadway is the what, your final destination. See, what I'm I would trying guess. to tell you is the people in Chicago are more important than the Broadway audience. Really? They are. Really? They're important. You know, it's like when you're working on a new play, it's like, it's like you're creating a child and you're nurturing that child and you're sending it off into the world. So it's better to create, you know, than it is to have it in New York. Like, yes, I want to play yeah. to go to New York. Yes, I want to, uh, I, I want the people on Broadway to greet it. But the most important thing is that we're nurturing it right here, right now. And if you and if you ask me, did I believe this play would have a super, super exciting future? Absolutely, yeah. because it has everything. It has humor. It has politics. The name of it is King James. I called my mother, who lives in Florida. I said, Mom, I'm in Chicago. She said, You're in Chicago? Yeah, baby. I'm I'm in Chicago, Mom. I'm doing this play. What's the name of the play? King James. I said, Can you guess what King James is about? She says, Um. Is it about the, the, the Bible? Right. I said, right, of course. That's great, because a third of the people come thinking, like, it's biblical, it's spiritual. Another third comes and say, oh, it's about LeBron. And another uh, third comes and says, it's Shakespearean. Shakespearean. It's in the I said, yeah, it's all of that. It's a spiritual, classical, yeah. wonderful play that honors LeBron and his relationship to the community as it parallels our understanding of friendship. Yeah. It's divided into four quarters. I say most people in life, we get to three quarters with our friends. We don't get to that fourth quarter. Someone does something, you're like, oh, I'm not going to call mom back. Mom did this to me. I'm not going to call my brother back. He did that to me. I have a friend I haven't talked to in 10 years. We never get to the fourth quarter. And that's what this play is about. It's a beautiful, universal play. It's really funny. Chris Perfetti and uh, Glenn Davis star in it. It's, it's, I haven't touched a play like this in a long time, and I've worked, I've had a Raisin in the Sun on Broadway. Oh. I've, I've, uh, I've had Tap Dance Kid. I've, I'm doing Trading Places, a musical coming up. But this play, and Rajiv Joseph, he's the real deal. He's the truth, and we get to birth this baby in Chicago, in February and March when yeah. it's 25 <laughs> degrees. So it must be great. Yeah, and really, it's it's more about uh, LeBron's influence and more about s the influence of sports in our lives. I mean, it's it's written in it's all of uh, LeBron's uh, such life, a, such a very like, interesting way. Yeah, it's his relationship to his community. Remember when LeBron left? It was like, oh, he's leaving. What do we do when friends leave us? Oh, LeBron's coming back. What do we do when friends come back? So it explores his whole life. So I say it's two trains running. It's like one train is LeBron and his relationship to the community and to the country, and another train is our personal friendships and relationships. How do we sustain them? And at the end of the day, it's about that's all we have. It's how we serve each other, how we serve God. Yeah. It's a very spiritual play. I, I love how you're uh, staging this at uh, the Steppenwolf Theater. That's, yeah, I love that's Steppenwolf. so known for, you know, taking chances, pushing the envelope, doing things that are a little different. Yeah, Steppenwolf is great. And uh, my first time here, maybe, I don't know, 15, 20 years ago, I met Martha Levy who was running the institution at, and she was, she's an American icon, and all of us artists across the country, we love her and respect her, and the folks there now, Audrey and Chris are continuing, and Glenn are continuing that tradition. So it was just beautiful to be in this city 
that has a pulse on the arts and how arts really change our lives, impact our lives. It's not just a place we go just to be entertained. Or if I, the way I put it, entertainment, the first part of entertainment is enter. There's a door and a window for all of us to enter to uh, change our lives, to impact each other's lives. So it's, I think the folks at Steppenwolf, they understand the beauty and the need. And after COVID, coming back to the theater yeah. now, you walk into the Steppenwolf and you hear this beautiful music and then you get a drink and you go in the theater and you laugh, you think, you cry. It makes you feel good about, you know, being alive, being above yeah. ground. Some of our folks are not here because of COVID. And so we asked ourselves, what, what are we supposed to do? I always start every day, I said, it's another day above ground. Yeah, exactly you know? right. King James is uh, running at the Steppenwolf on North Halstead through April the 10th. Uh, the great Kenny Leon, thank you so much for being here today. Thank it's you. A, uh, such a pleasure. I'm a huge fan, man. Dean, I'm a huge fan. Look at this. I'm a huge fan. You're the you man. Know, we bald You're guys, the man. Have, we bald guys <laughs> have to stick together. <laughs> yeah, That's what that right. <laughs>